All right, guys, number 30 of Contenders Hoops. Thank you very much for joining in. Best of luck. Let's go, Juzo. Zion Williamson, licensed to dominate for the Pelicans. Okongwu for the Hawks. First auto up is Okongwu Variation, rookie premium ticket auto, Atlanta Hawks. Oh, Turco. He bought a Okongwu? I didn't know he was going to be here. You didn't think I was going to be here, D? Come on. I have no idea what's going on. All right. I'm here now. Are you ripping? Do you want me to take over? Or you want me to? Yeah, if through? you're if you're here, yeah. All right, I'll rip it. I'm about to pull another Lamelo ball. Well, Jizzo said you better pull him something good. Jizzo said that. Tell Jizzo he could SMD. What? We don't talk to Jizzo like that. Why? He's in Hawaii. He ain't gonna do nothing. You think he's gonna travel all the way here to fight me? Cool. All right. He said when, it, when I travel to Hawaii one of these days, he's going to use me as shark bait. That's what he called me. Uh, I would do the same thing. Probably catch a big ass shark. <laughs> <laughs> Gray <and> white. <laughs> you going to use me as shark bait, D? Come on. Uh, probably, yeah. Probably? Wow, D. I wouldn't use you as shark bait. That's messed up. Come on, man. You catch like the mother of all sharks. Yeah, but I don't want to catch a shark if I'm using you as bait. I use Chumley instead. Okay, fair enough. He's just mad because I got better bars than him. Wow. I didn't even go to no bar, Jizzo, first of all. A con woo. Contenders basketball is fire. I love this stuff. Got a Denny Abija, Patrick Williams, and a Chris Paul backwards card. Oh wait, a couple of these are backwards. Elgin Baylor for the Lakers, nice one. Out of 25, bronze, nice one. LA Lakers is going out to Jizzo. Oh snap, Jizzo. Maybe I'll pull a one when LeBron needs breaks. Not those kinds of bars. Wow. You think I can rap, Jizzo? I'm about as white as them boys that grew up in Montgomery, Alabama. I can't rap for shit. You got it, Russell Westbrook. Zion Williamson at a 249 playoff ticket for the Pelicans. 313 cards. Nice one, buddy. We all know he's not old enough to go to the bar yet, except I am, Jeremy. That's where you went wrong. 
I'm old now. I don't have no more birthdays now. Jalen Smith. Paul George. And a Malcolm Brogdon out of 75 for the Pacers. Wow, dude. These people don't even think I'm 21 yet. That's good. messed up, right? That's good. You don't want to feel old. Yeah, true. I'm not that old yet. I'm like 19, I guess. <coughs> No Vepe ships, guys. No Vepe's with the white sparkles and the die cuts. New ship. 21 years old in four days. You know what, Giselle? I turned 21 in March. That's like months away. Austin Capaz is 15. That's why I get carded everywhere I go. It's alright, though, Chris. It's alright. That means I look young, which is good for when I get older. He has a fake ass Hawaiian McGlovin ID. <laughs> wow. You think I have a McGlovin ID? Honestly, I probably would try to use that one time if I had one. You know, McGlovin's birthday was just killed last week. Really? The ID, the date on the ID, the birthday. <laughs> yeah. I would I would try to use one at a bar. Do you think they would kick me out if I tried to use a McLaren ID? I'd go to jail. Go to jail for what? Fake IDs are not legal. <laughs> you can't just... Yeah, but I'm still 21. doesn't matter. You can't falsely impersonate someone else. Even if it's McLovin? doesn't matter. I look like him, though. When did you finally admit it? Yeah, you know I look like him. It's unfortunate, but like... He's the man. <laughs> I told you that? Thing. Yeah, you told me that. And that got my confidence up. I pulled the milk, so I can't help it. Anyone like 24 or younger, I can't pull. But any milk, so I got them locked down. D knows. D knows. For the Spurs out of 249, LaMarcus Aldridge playoff ticket. Austin, you are McLovin? I am. You know, I'm going to change that on my birth certificate. Instead of Austin Chandler, I'm going to be McLovin. Austin's ID. Wow. You're dropping my ID in the chat now? D-Jack? That's messed up, man. It's messed up. We got a LaMelo Ball, White Sparkle for the Hornets, Rookie of the Year. He is a beast. Wow, Giselle, wow. You know, I ain't even going to respond to that, Giselle. That's so messed up, man. Killian Hayes. Tyrese Halliburton. This guy was really good this year. Tyrese Halliburton for the Kings. Oh, Tyrese Maxey variation out of 99. For the Sixers, going out to Triple Double Sports. Very nice, buddy, out of 99. Tyrese Maxey.
Tyrese Maxey is a bucket man. He played at Kentucky too. I'm so disappointed that Roy Williams retired, man. I can't believe that. My, literally my entire life, Roy Williams has been the head coach of Carolina. Steve Francis out of 99 for the Orlando Magic. And Krzyzewski's retiring. That makes me feel so old. You guys have no idea. Krzyzewski retiring. He's literally been the head coach of Duke my entire life. And Roy Williams has coached Carolina my entire life. Like, those two has, have been a rivalry as long as I've been living, man. For the Pelicans out of 149 first round, Eric Bledsoe for the Pelicans. I bet on this. Oh snap, Chris King. Patrick Williams for the Bulls. Oh, LeBron James. LeBron James. Hey, first round exit or not, this man is still the GOAT. I don't care what nobody says. How they treat you, honestly, Duquette? I don't know, bro. G's mad at me, and I don't know why. Vase, Donovan Mitchell. There's playoff games tonight, right? Who plays tonight? The Clippers and the, and the Jazz, right? Or tonight? Game number two? Or, yeah, because the Phoenix Suns played yesterday against the... Um, who did they play? The Nuggets? Yeah, I think they played the Nuggets. DJ Alameo. What is it? Yo, I don't need a fake ID no more, DJ. I'm 21 now. I don't need no fake ID. I still look like a baby in the ID that I have, but you know what? The craziest part is that, like, on my current ID, it says I'm 5 feet 6 because I just renewed my ID from when I was 16. But I'm, like, 6, 1 and a half. That's the craziest part. Tough love. Don't worry about it. Hey, Duquette, you know what it is. I'm a little nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Jizo knows you as a form of Hawaii. I'm not from Hawaii. I've never even been to Hawaii. One day, maybe I'll go. One of these days. We got a Kira Lewis Jr. for the Pelicans. Dame Dollar. I do have 500 unread text messages. I I don't I don't think he texted me. Max, I swear to God, he never texted me because I would answer him. Yeah, unless he has the wrong number, he didn't text me. I'm serious. a fan? I mean, I'm a Washington football fan, so I don't necessarily like two cards either, so I don't have a, a real reason to cheer for him. I like Ryan Fitzmagic because I just got his jersey, and I hope Washington wins the Super Bowl, but I've been saying that for the last 21 years, and it's never happened. Kawhi Leonard for the Clippers. Die you saying that's a kid. I'm old now. 21 years. That's a long time. But I kind of hope... What? 
Can you drop flaws for me? Not yet. I will after this break. Guys, gravy spots in the next flawless football. We're gonna Tell drop him. a filler. Tell him. I am. Right now. 125, gravy teams. I really suck at darts, so I figured that out today. Wait. I only hit one bullseye out of Play like 125. Hey, giddy up. How you doing, buddy? Giddy up, Law. Jalen Smith variation for the Suns out of 9 9. Playoff ticket. You're in Hawaii, Saint Center? Jizzo is. Is he really owning a candy shop down there? Jizzo? He has a cookie and candy, a uh, fish shop, right? Taco or something? Fish. Like a restaurant? A re I don't know. Jizzo, is it a fish up? restaurant? Like a taco shop or something? I like fish as like food, but like, I'm not, I mean, I used to fish a lot, but I don't really do it much anymore. Darts is fun. Darts I like axe fun. throwing. Axe throwing, I'm terrible at that too. Darts and axe throwing. Oh yeah, Jizzo, I actually still have some of that. Obi Toppin. Giddy up, you're going to Maui? Maui, Hawaii? Yeah? Would you hop on a helicopter? Hell no. Yeah, not after Kobe. No, Screw hell that. No. SGA cracked ice for the Thunder. Out of 25, this guy's a beast, man. He was hurt the last half of the season, but he'll be back. You also cater? What what kind of fish you serve, Jizzo? I mean, I like tuna, but it's got to be cooked right. Like, it's got to be almost raw. Like, pretty much sushi for me to like tuna. I don't know. Like, after tuna is cooked, it's not that great to me. I'd rather have, like, mahi or flounder or even, like, red, lo like, uh, lobster or even, like, red snapper is fire. Or even, like, crappie from the lakes around here. Like, I don't know if you know what a crappie is, but, like, crappie is good, man. It's crappie. Crappie, crappie, same, same thing, dude. Come on. Crappy, crappy. I used to catch them like by the pond in my neighborhood, but I got banned from there because I kept fishing on freaking no trespassing property. Out of 49, Nora for the Bucks. I used to catch some pretty big bass. It, you fi uh, you've golfed to Salem Glen, right? Yep. Yeah, I used to fish there all the time, but they kept kicking me out. Well, it's not a, it's not a public fishery. It used to be before the new owner took place. Like we could fish whenever we wanted when the old owner was in, but ever since they ever since they changed owners, it's like you can only fish from like four AM to six AM and then eight PM to ten PM. That's the only time you can fish there. Out of one forty nine, Bradley Beal for the Wizards. They caught some big bass in there though. I call my P B there. It was like six pounds. Big eye or yellowfin tuna raw? Dude, I like sushi, man. I'll eat some raw raw tuna on some sushi, man. Sushi's good. Tyrese Maxi. Alright, we got three boxes left. Good luck, guys. Let's see Lamello, man. Going to Maui in one month. Can't wait. Have you ever been to Hawaii D? No. Definitely on the bucket list one of these days. Maybe when I'm like 50, I'll get over there. Maui. Hawaii is just a long flight from the East Coast, man. That's like a nine hour flight. You gotta fly to California or somewhere on the West Coast and then fly to, uh, to Hawaii. I would get arrested at least once if I was in Hawaii. Dee's gonna take a map, pick up Maddie G, and drive to Hawaii. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Did that make you fun of me, Jizo? Because I thought you could drive to Hawaii. <laughs> Vucevic, I guess you need like a a car that drives underwater. <laughs> boat works. A boat, yeah. You'd be on a boat for a hot minute though if you drove from the west coast of California to Hawaii. How long do you think that would take? A long time, right? Depends on how fast the boat goes. And they'd have to hold a lot of gas. The Mellow Ball lottery ticket. Okoro out of 99 playoff ticket for the Cavs. 35 out of 99 Cavs is Christopher. Nice hit, buddy. You're dumb enough to try to drive to Hawaii? Yo, if I seen a body of water, I definitely wouldn't take the challenger in a body of water, man. That's messed up. I wouldn't wreck my challenger like that. Went to Africa a year ago, 19 hour flight. I wouldn't even hop on a helicopter right now, honestly. I, don't, I would be so nervous if I hopped on a helicopter because of what happened to Kobe, man. I would just be, I, I would prefer to take like a, I don't know. If they have a boat, I would prefer to take a boat over a helicopter. 19 hours sounds painful. Yeah, I don't even know if I could stay in one seat for 19 hours. I'd probably go crazy. Luka Doncic, superstar die cut for the Dallas Mavs. They have a hover ATV. That would be cool. Or, yo, you know them. Have you ever watched Swamp People, Jizzo? What if they have the, like, what do they call it with the fan on the back of the boat? That they drive in swamp people in Louisiana when they're on the on the bayou with the when they're catching alligators. You know what I'm talking about? The airboat. Yeah, I think it's called an airboat. With the fan on the back, that's what powers the whole thing. I feel like that would be good, no? We go to all the way to Hawaii. We would have to have a couple gas stations like on the way, but it wasn't fun in Africa. It was not worth it. Really? Was used to sitting in chairs on Boma Release Day for 20 hours? Wow. So. Me and D could rip a lot of Bowman cases in 20 hours, though. Tell him, D. Tell him. You're the Bowman King. E easily 20 cases. Easily. 249 playoff ticket. Buddy Heal for the Kings. The next Bowman draft at least I'm pulling a 24 hour ship D. If, if I don't, fire me. Alright? I've been telling people I was going to pull a 24 hour stream for the longest time and I never do it. Austin, shut so, up. So the next Bowman draft right. at least I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I've been promising the people, man. You think I could do it 24 hours? Well, I guess I couldn't because you would take over before I finished, but... Still, we're like, we would be live the whole it time. It ain't no thing, Austin. It ain't no thing? You don't need to do it. Why 24 not? hours? It's not like you're breaking some kind of record or something. I know, you've already did it, but like, I just want to say that I did it one time, you know? Oh, Kenny Smith! He played at Carolina, baby! For the Rockets out of 199, Kenny Smith. I think his son even committed to Carolina. Even though freaking Roy Williams retired. What a bum, man. My entire life, he's been the coach of Carolina. Now he wants to retire. Like, he could have lasted a couple more years at least. Aaron Neesmith for the Celtics. I used to go to camps, like when Marcus Page and Tyler Hansbro were five-star recruits of Carolina. I used to go meet those guys back in the day. That was, like, the best time ever. Man. Got to meet Roy Williams a couple times. Austin, wow. Just so you know what? He is my boss, Jizzo, but you're not, Jizzo. I'm just saying. The only reason I'm nice to you is because D tells me to be nice to you. That's not nice. 
That's not nice what you just did. I told you to be nice to Jizzo. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Jizzo. I'm sorry for the disrespect, Jizzo. Sorry. That's messed up. <laughs> just take G's jet. G owns a jet now, Saint Center. Wow. Jets are like mad money, man. How much does a jet cost? Isaac Okoro for the Cavs rookie ticket. The Cavs have been crushing, man. They hit a Garland and an Okoro. On what? On teams. I have no idea. I didn't look. I ain't gonna lie to you. Is it a little lower at least? How many teams are there? <clears throat> one, one spot got taken. And it's, 11 left. Wait, the NT is sold out. You want to rip that? Um, yeah, All right, so I'll wait. I'll stall a little bit. Given my high club a new definition. Wow. Wow, Saint Center. G is basically the money Mayweather, and I'm the Conor McGregor. Luka Doncic. I can't believe how much money Floyd Mayweather made for whooping Logan Paul's ass on live stage and then the fight didn't even have judges. Obi Toppin. He literally had a, a million pay-per-view buys at $50 a piece for him destroying Logan Paul. Like, what? I mean, listen... Logan Paul not getting knocked out was definitely an accomplishment because I thought he was going to get knocked out. Kawhi Leonard, but let's be honest. Floyd Mayweather is, what, 40-something years old? 44, 45, 46 years old? Austin, you're McLovin. We've established that. I am McLovin. You know, McLovin was the man. People acting like McLovin wasn't the man. Yo, he got to shoot guns with the police. He was the man. You're not so good looking ring girl? Yo, I could I'd wear a speedo doing the ring girl thing for sure. Jizzo, listen bro, if someone punches me, they gonna have much more to deal with than what they realize. Downtown Winston, MLK Boulevard. They all mess with Austin Boss. They all in business with Austin Boss. Jizzo, come on. Better retract that statement. Austin Williams got three national... Hey, he did get three national championships. And I watched two of them. I didn't watch all three because the first one that he got, I was super, super young. So I don't even remember that. But the other two, I remember out of 49, Al Horford for the Thunder. But literally, Roy Williams has been the coach of North Carolina. Like, people think that I'm joking, but literally my entire life, Roy Williams has been the coach of North Carolina. And Krzyzewski has been the coach of Duke. My entire life almost. Jimmy Butler. So it just makes me feel old now that Krzyzewski and Roy Williams are both retiring. It just makes me feel old, man. Hubert Davis is the coach of North Carolina, and they got some white guy taking the coach of Duke. I don't know. I've never even heard of their assistant coach that's taken over. Like, I thought it was the dude that, uh, Caples, the, the guy that signed to Pitt, right? Caples was the coach of Duke for, the assistant coach of Duke for a long time. Out of 99, Pat Bev for the Clippers. Why don't you go coach? I could, man. I could coach Carolina better than that Cooper Davis guy. You think I'm kidding, but I'm being dead ass serious. I feel like I could coach better than Huber Davis.
What year were you born, boss? 2000. Literally the year 2000. Cole Anthony for the Magic. The year 2000, my man. Tyrese Maxey. That probably makes you feel old, especially if you were born in the 19-somethings. Well, listen, I was born in the year 2000. Out of 149, Shea Gilgis Alexander for the Thunder. I own jeans older than you. Yo, if you still rocking jeans, you can't be rocking jeans like that, man. Jeans ain't in style, man. Unless they some skinny jeans. I was 15 in the year 2000, so you're what, 35, 36 years old now? and you don't know what style is, yo. Just wait till you see my shoe collection. Out of 249, James Harden for the Rockets. Tell me I don't know what style is. My shoe game is on point. Turned 37 in May. Damn, you old as shit. You okay? 37? Woo! Even my cousin is only 30. Tyrese Halliburton for the Kings lottery ticket. Tyrese Halliburton again, back to back lottery tickets for the Kings. Desmond Bain, the rookie three point shooting machine. Premium for the Grizzlies. This guy literally led rookies in three point shooting. Going to your channel's number one. Nice, buddy. Your channel's number one. You hit the best three-point shooting rookie there is. I mean, he was taking assists from John Morant, but still, he led the league in three-point shooting for a rookie. Yeezys are not in style. I like Yeezys. I have a couple pairs, but I like Ultra Boost and then... Vapor Maxes and like the Hey Dudes. I don't know if you guys know what Hey Dudes slippers are, but Hey Dudes slippers are fire. I love those things, man. These things are so comfortable. Hey Dudes slippers. That Bone Williams can win. At, he won three titles in NC, just so you know. He won more titles at Carolina than Krzyzewski won at Duke. And that's facts. He won more ACC titles than Shashevsky. You know, talk all the crap you want about Roy Williams, but Shashevsky is so overrated simply because he was the one that coached Team USA. That's the only reason he was overrated. Freaking Roy Williams had more. Co he had more college. What you call it? Uh, he had more college accomplishments than Shashevsky, Roy Williams. Even when Hansborough was there, bro, Duke was a bunch of freaking babies, bro. They had to elbow Hansborough in the face and shatter his nose to beat Carolina. They would have never beat Carolina if it wasn't for that. Middle ten out of one forty nine. When they had Jabari Parker back in the day, and then they had yo Duke literally had. Cam Reddish, Zion Williamson, and R.J. Barrett, which was the three top recruits in the nation, and still lost to Carolina once. So don't come at me. They had the three best recruits in the entire nation. Zion went number one. R.J. Barrett went number three. And Cam Reddish went in the lottery in the top ten. And they still lost to Carolina. So if you want to holler at me, holler at me. But they still lost. They can get all the recruits they want, but that doesn't mean they're going to win. Tobias Harris out of 99 for the Sixers. 
Zion was the number rec number two recruit in the nation. Cam Reddish was number three, and R.J. Barrett was number one. But Zion Williamson went number one in the draft. But R.J. Barrett was the number recruit in the nation coming out of high school. We got Jason Tatum for the Celtics. They even got Harry Giles, who was the number one recruit out of high school. And they still sucked. Krzyzewski got the number one recruits in the nation because he coached Team USA, and he still couldn't win. How you feel? How you feel? How many number one recruits in the nation they have? Cole Anthony was number number two recruit in the nation. He committed to Carolina. Jabari Parker was number one. They still lost. They didn't win a title that year. Brandon Ingram was number two recruit in the nation out of high school. They still lost. How you feel? Zion Williamson was number two. We got freaking R.J. Barrett number three, or number one. And Cam Reddish came number three. They had literally one, two, and three in 2018. And they still lost. They didn't even win the title. They had the top three recruits in the nation. They still didn't win. That just shows you who, who Carolina is. Carolina is the best. They had Michael Jordan. They had Vince Carter, James Worthy. They're the best, man. They're the best. R.J. Barrett and Reddish are average players. Yeah, they average, but they still got the number one, two, and three recruits in the nation in one year, and they still didn't win a national title. They still didn't win. They lost in the second round or the third round. They lost. They lost to Taco Falls, bumass, because he's seven foot three. They lost to UFC because freaking Taco Fall cooked them. Don't talk to me about Duke. Krzyzewski is the most overrated coach in the nation, period. He even coached LeBron, KD. Co he coached Kobe for freaking Olympics. And they still couldn't freaking win national titles. Desmond Bain Premium. James Harden for the Nets. Shea Gilgis Alexander for the Thunder. What are you talking about? I'm talking about how much of a bum Krzyzewski is. He gets the best recruits in the nation and can't win. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all the recruits Krzyzewski's had and can't win a national title. Jabari Parker, second overall in the draft. R.J. Barrett, third overall in the draft. Zion Williamson, number one overall in the draft. Cam Reddish, number eight overall in the draft. He couldn't win shit. Yeah, they should have beat Carolina, but they didn't because Theo Pinson is the man. Theo Pinson is the man. I'm so tired of people overhyping Duke, bro. Duke is a bunch of bums. They get one and dones that can't ever win shit on the college level, and they go straight to the draft. Same thing with Kentucky. Same thing with Kentucky, bro. They had Luke May, a six foot eight power forward white boy that didn't even make the NBA, take them out of the Final Four. How you feel? How do you feel? Luke May sent Kentucky out the Final Four. They had two picks in the top seven. And they lost to Luke May. They lost to Luke May. A walk-on white boy that's 6'8 and can't move for nothing. They lost to him. How do you feel? Theo Pinson didn't even play the first two years he was in college because he was in, he was in a boot his whole time. He broke his foot two years in a row. Didn't even play his first two years in college. But guess what? They lost in the Final Four to Theo Pinson. Durham is the greatest city in NP. That's cap. That's cap. Charlotte is definitely the greatest city in NC, bro. That's cap. And that is the break. Thank you guys for the fill. Thank you guys for the fill, everyone. I'm lying in a flawless right now. You better take your spots, boys. Tatum. Tatum went number three in the draft. Guess what? They didn't win shit with Tatum.